find even more drawing tips inside the pages of the Phoenix comic, along with great stories and more. Now the first thing you'll notice is that I'm working on a computer, but you can do this at home on a piece of paper, it's no different, the principles are all exactly the same. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to sketch out the basic shape of Troy's face. Now the main thing we need to get right is that jawline, that triangular chin that's very distinctive to Troy. Once we've got that right, it's really going to start to look like him. Now we've put in a few extra lines for where we're going to put the eyes and the nose. And then up here, I have something called layers. Now I can make these layers a bit more see-through and create what's called an underdrawing. And you can do this at home. If you get two pieces of paper, on the first piece of paper, you do your underdrawing and basically sketch out the shape of Troy's face very loosely like I'm doing now. And then you put the other piece of paper on top and you trace over that underdrawing when you're doing your final lines. And you'll see what I mean in a second when we get onto that stage. So we put in a few extra lines, a few extra details. We've got the nose in there, the eyes. We've got the basic shape of his face just right now. Now we're going to start doing the final lines. So you would do this on your piece of paper that you've laid on top of your underdrawing. Now you'll notice that my lines are very definite. I don't do lots and lots of little fussy lines. They're very sharp, angular lines in one stroke. So we've done the eyebrows. We've put the eyes in, put the pupils in now so that we, you know, his eyes have got a bit more life to them. And we'll just draw in the nose here. Now we need to decide if he's going to be smiling, or smirking in this case. But no, let's not go with that. Let's, uh, let's make him look a bit more angry. Put in the stubble, which again is just a series of lines. And then the hair, that's just a series of triangles at different angles. That's all it is. And then put in the top of his hair there. And you'll notice they're just really bold shapes. I'm not drawing every hair strand. I'll put in a bit of shading when I colour it maybe, but that's all. And then we put in the shoulders, add a few more extra details, and then we get rid of our underdrawing. Put in that little bit there on the hair that I always do. A few extra frown lines, Adam's apple. And there we go. Troy's all done. So why not have a go at drawing Troy yourself? You can also find even more drawing tips inside the pages of the Phoenix comic, delivered straight to your door every week, along with great stories and more.